What is going on, everybody? Mattitude 22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we have the Marvel Legends. <sighs> Excuse me. Thought I was gonna thought I was gonna have a sneeze there, but I didn't. We have the Marvel Legends Armored Thanos, Avengers Infinity War slash Avengers Endgame. Build a figure wave. Ebony Maw figure. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's a, that's a mouthful. I gotta really, I gotta really think about that more. Cause yeah, that is a uh, quite the doozy. All right, you can see on the packaging, Avengers: Infinity War, right there. I mean, this character did also appear in Endgame, and he is in the Endgame wave. I don't know why they can just have Avengers: Endgame, but whatever. Back of the packaging, you can see the build a figure. See the other figures in the wave. As of this far, we have only done Captain America, so we're knocking Ebony Ma out now. Getting through it. Brief bio right there. If you want to read this, if you want, I almost said if you want to read this video. If you want to watch, uh, if you want to watch, if you want to read this video. No, no, you don't want to read this video. You want to watch this bio, guys. I'm sorry. If you want to read this bio. Learn to talk. And of course, pause this video now. Oh, uh, nice shot of Ebony Ma on the side. And he's got the golden Avengers logo right there, which tells us that this is, in fact, Infinity War, not Endgame. Get rid of the packaging. All right, we're going to have the figure. First thing to note is this boy is quite tall. Uh, I don't have a, I don't know approximately how tall, but he is tall enough. Face sculpt looks awesome. I mean, it looks literally like he just stepped out of the movie screen. Uh, I really, really like this face sculpt. And on, on the torso and the legs, there's some nice texturing going on on the pants. Some nice kind of mesh. Even even on the even on the arms. It's got a nice kind of mesh look to it. I really, really like it. And then he's just got the gold detail right there. So gives the character a little dimension. Uh, on the hands, he does have rings. I don't know the significance of those. I don't think it was ever explained. I think it's just part of his character. Um, again, you can see the rings. Don't think they were ever touched on that, but looks very good nonetheless. Uh, this part is a nice soft plastic, so that's not gonna inhibit you with any articulation and I gotta say I like the I like the sculpt on the hair too it's just kind of back there uh, looks very like balding uh, I don't know man if, if I ever go bald I might I might try to rock this look and just keep it at the back or why do I why do I have to wait till I go bald uh, maybe I'll just shave my head like that if uh, if you guys want to see that make sure you make sure you like this video maybe maybe I'll do it maybe who knows and he's got nice glossy boots. Nice glossy dark gray boots. Uh, a little bit of texturing on them. The sculpting. Not too much though. Alright. Articulation for this for this large man. Um you, this would make almost a good slender man custom. Cause he stands so tall. He like uh he stands he stands so much taller over like a regular six inch figure. Like just to give you guys an example. Here is uh, comedian. So there you go. You can see he stands quite a nod taller, which is definitely a plus because his character is supposed to be a little bit taller. So I do like that. Um, all right, let's let's get into the articulation, guys. Head doesn't really move forward and back it does move side to side arms move out this far they move in this far back that far he does have a bicep swivel a double jointed elbow which works really well you get a really great range of motion on that he's got wrist rotation and wrist hinge diaphragm joint uh not really an ab crunch he can he can move down, look down because of the way the legs are, but no ab crunches the diaphragm joint. Hips move out this far, kicks this far forward, 
kicks that far back. We got a double jointed knee. We got ankle rockers. And ankle pivot. So there you go. Very, very nice looking figure. Actually, just to just to give you a better size for scale, show you how he scales up with a, a six inch scale figure. Let's compare him to the Mezco Doctor Strange. Uh, so there you go. You can see he is a little bit taller. I, I, pull, I pulled out Doctor Strange. I figured it's fitting since they are like rivals in the movie. But guys, that has been it for this video i hope you liked it if you did please guys make sure to do all that regular stuff like share comment subscribe if you're not already if you didn't like the video then feel free guys to thumbs it down i hope you don't but if you do hopefully you'll come back and check out the next video which i will show you at the end of this outro uh social media links in the description can't remember if i said that so i'm just gonna say it again and guys make sure you check out the sanctuary on facebook and youtube also, please visit Clickbait Wrestling on Facebook and YouTube. Guys, that is it. I will catch you next time. And we'll, we'll, hold up, hold up. What did I... Did, didn't I say something in the last video? I seem to recall... Guys, my bad. I, I forgot. I promised that we would have a bonus review in this video. So... I did say that. Guys, we are knocking it out two for one. So we're going to just move Ebony Ma to the side because we're, we're, we're done with him for now. We don't need him right now. Guys, I have another figure to review. So if you're ready, actually, let's, let's do a dramatic effect. And there we go, guys. We have... The Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive two-pack Corvus Glaive. I didn't get the two-pack. I, I didn't get the Loki. I just I, I just kind of picked up the Corvus Glaive loose because I needed him to complete my Black Order. Guys, I figured because this was a loose figure, um, I said, you know what? Why don't I just give the people what they want? Why don't I give the people what they want? And why don't I do a little two for one? So that is what we have. So we're going to be looking at also this Corvus Glaive. Like I said, this is the Walmart exclusive two-pack Corvus Glaive. All right. Face sculpt is excellent. Really, really good job here. Hasbro really killed it with this figure. <clears throat> the cape has a lot of nice sculpting on it. A lot of nice texturing. And it is a nice soft plastic, so it shouldn't give you any problems breaking or any anything like that, any problems with the articulation. Uh, what might give you a problem, as you can see, this, this webbing or this netting, uh, that certainly will inhibit the articulation. I don't, especially on this side, I don't really know why we have that. Um, maybe it's just the look of the figure. Or, uh, sorry, I should say maybe just the look of the character. Uh we do have it nonetheless, so I'm just going to kind of have to deal with it. And he's got this little sash, which again, soft plastic, so no issues there. Some nice sculpting going all the way down into the feet. And then the feet are just very weird toes with the front and the back, or the front, well, not the front and the side, but the, the two toes on the outside are long and gold and then the ones in the middle are just kind of stumpy and same color as the rest of them which is nice it is like a really dark gray very very dark gray so much darker than ebony ma but let's say not as dark as not not quite as dark as batman beyond so it's not really a black it's just more of a, a really dark gray uh, so which either way is fine I said face already touched touched on the face sculpt 
Excuse me. I think they did a great job with that. Uh, so let's look at his articulation. Head moves side to side. We get a forward and down. Arm on this side. I, I can get it to about here. Moves in this far. Back that far. He does have a bicep swivel. Another really effective double jointed elbow. Really good right there. Wrist rotation and wrist hinge. Uh, this side. Yeah, like that's the most you can get it. Uh, you could probably cut this. Well, not probably could. You could easily cut this if you wanted to, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. We do have a it's almost like a double diaphragm joint. So you can see he rotates on the top and on the bottom separately. So almost like a double diaphragm joint on this guy, which is cool. Hips move out this far, kicks this far forward, kicks that far back. Got, again, really nice double jointed knee. Really good, really effective range of motion on that. He's got a thigh swivel, and I forgot to touch on it, but Ebony Ma has a thigh swivel as well. And he has ankle pivot and ankle rockers. So there we go, guys. With that, uh, our black order is complete. If you didn't check it out, I did review Proxima Midnight and call obsidian on this channel already so if you want to dig back to next year those figures have been reviewed you can go and check those out uh i really like both of these figures and i, I really like all the black order figures i think it's definitely a team worth collecting if you're into movie figures if not i think it might be a while before we get some comic accurate black order figures so these just might be the go-to for the time being but as always guys thank you for watching i'm not going to repeat the outro because i already said it all before have yourselves a great day here is the figure we're going to be looking at next so we're going to be looking at the hall of fame tito santana guys that is going to be it thank you for all your support i will catch you next time have a great day and bye